Are you tired of using cheap store-bought sprinklers from the store that just leak all over the place, are inefficient at watering and just flat out don't work? Well, in this video, we're gonna show you the first ever professional DIY above ground sprinkler system in existence. So we're back with our buddy Kevin today from Hunter Industries, and he's gonna show us how to build a custom DIY irrigation system in the most simple way possible. Let's get after it. So a lot of you guys watching right now are probably using sprinklers like this, an oscillating sprinkler, which is heavily affected by the wind anytime it gets shot up in the air. Also one of these cheap orbit sprinklers that just kind of leak all over the place. And because of that, a lot of us in the DIY community have been resorting to making DIY builds like this. So George, let's take a look at your typical DIY build, right? I mean, how many parts are we talking? We got your MP rotator. We have a spray head, which is meant to be subsurface mounted on a fully automated system. We have a nipple that connects it to this hokey little base, which we know leaks like a sieve. I mean, let's just get that out of here, right? <laughs> now let's look at the MP stake. Soup the nuts, one part, half inch male pipe thread, one adapter is gonna take that straight to your hose. This comes equipped with a check valve as well as pressure regulation so that MP is at its maximum efficiency level. So for disclaimer purposes, I do wanna say that this video is not sponsored by Hunter. These guys are not paying me at all, but I gotta say when I first heard about this product, I really wanted to do some content on it because I think it's going to be a game changer in the lawn care community and it's really going to help some people have an all-in-one solution to having a professional DIY irrigation system. All right, Kevin, so these are the main components of the MP stake, right? That's correct. Yeah, the MP stake consists of a few different components. So what I'm holding here in my hands is the stake itself fully assembled with the MP rotator on top. And you'll notice where it threads on this gray body right here serves a purpose beyond just housing the nozzle. The purpose that it serves is there's a pressure regulator built into the stake. So it keeps it at 40 PSI, which is the optimal operating pressure for the MP rotator. So by having this component in here, it's going to give you the maximum efficiency in how evenly the water is applied. In addition to that, directly beneath that is what we call a check valve. Many of you know them, if you've got a sump pit in your house, you know you have a check valve that allows water to flow in one direction. So having the check valve in here ensures that once the system's depressurized, we're no longer gonna see any water coming out of the MP rotator. So now one of the coolest parts is look at the overall size of the stake. So depending on your soil quality, you may be able to penetrate this in quite a distance if you're in some loam soil, but if you have some clay soil, it might not go in as far. So it's really easy for those of us that have bad backs like myself, you don't wanna bend over too far when you're pushing it in. Most DIY irrigation products, you've really gotta get down into the ground to do it. Not with this, much easier with the MP stake. Yeah, you know, I really like how the stake is actually tall because like you said, I mean, sometimes I won't water my lawn just because I don't wanna go out there and put all those DIY builds out there, so. We're lazy and dragging <laughs> hoses is not fun. So here we have the MP rotator stake, which comes fully assembled from the factory with your check valve and pressure regulator pre-installed. So all we have to do at this point is select the proper MP rotator nozzle for our application. And once we've done so, hand thread it clockwise onto the top of the MP stake. And the last piece of the assembly, we need to go from half inch female pipe thread at the base of the MP stake over to three quarter inch female hose thread. And we're gonna achieve that with two fittings and a little bit of Teflon tape. You'll notice we applied three revolutions of Teflon tape to the half inch male pipe thread in the direction we're threading our fitting on. So now we'll simply take our half inch by three quarter inch threaded bushing, thread it on with hand tension. From there, we apply another three revolutions of Teflon tape in a clockwise direction on that fitting and go to the three quarter inch female pipe thread side of our adapter thread it on with hand tension as well. Once we've got it nice and snug, if you have a pair of pliers, go ahead and apply those to give it one extra turn, make sure it doesn't leak. And now we're prepared to attach our garden hose to the three quarter inch female pipe thread side and place it in the yard. So now that we've got our MP stake fully assembled, the next step before we go surround and drown and start throwing some water around is proper spacing for our MP stakes. We're working with the MP 3000, which will go from 30 feet down to about 25. So you wanna place your heads at that 25 foot distance. In irrigation as a standard, we call head to head coverage, meaning every product that's throwing water wants to be hit by another th product throwing water 
back at it to ensure we have maximum efficiency in how even the water is laid down. So if your intent is to run more than one MP rotator at a time, and in most applications you'll be able to, you want to have what's called a Y hose connector, which allows your main hose line to attach to one side of it, and then with three quarter inch hose thread, you attach to the base of one of your MP rotators, and then it allows you to attach a secondary garden hose to the other outbound side of the Y for a second and or third MP rotator, allowing you to cover more surface area of your yard. So George, with all irrigation products, we have what's called a fixed edge. That is the edge that you want to align with your neighbor's yard or your hardscape, meaning that irrigation will not throw left of that. We have a left fixed edge, so from there, there's a little flat indicator on the MP rotator showing that. So when you install it, you know specifically where to align it. So making adjustments on your MP rotator can only occur when it's actually running and flowing water through the nozzle. That being said, there's two adjustments that you can make. One to the arc, which is the surface area of coverage, and right now you can see we're spraying over the sidewalk and onto the hardscape. So moving it counterclockwise will reduce that arc setting, and I'll bring it into a 90 degree of coverage so that we're not watering the neighbor's yard and we're not watering the sidewalk. Once we've got your arc setting set up, we can reduce the radius and control our distance so that we're covering head to head. That's done by a flathead screw on the top side. So utilizing the MP tool, which guides you right onto that slot, if you rotate clockwise up to three revolutions while water flow is going through it, we reduce the distance that it throws by 25%. So now we've got it set up in a head-to-head -head instance where this head's hitting that head with water and we're staying within the constraints of the surface area of coverage that we want. That's a perfectly adjusted MP rotator. All right, Kevin, so I'll be first to admit that when it comes to turning on my irrigation, it could be a pain, you know, going behind the bushes and it's down low of the spigot. Am I gonna have to do that with this MP rotator kit? No, we're, we're gonna fully automate your, your do-it-yourself system here. And the mannerism in which we're gonna do it was with a product called the Hunter BTT, which stands for Bluetooth Tap Timer. Very simplistic, it attaches with hose thread directly to your hose bib. Okay, and from there, with hose thread, we'll attach your garden hose running to your MP rotator stakes as well as your drip. Now, this happens to be a single station. There is an app for it. You just go to the app store on your phone. It's called the Hunter BTT. Type that into your Google Play or your app store. And then if you want to manually run it, you can simply touch it, turn it on, touch it to turn it off. But it's a full seven day a week fully automated, multiple program, irrigation controller, app-based, and with as long as your device is within Bluetooth connectivity of this, seven day a week calendar. So if you guys are interested in picking up any of these MP sticks, I teamed up with a distributor called Sprinkler Supply Store. We put together an all-in-one package that includes the MP stake, the MP rotators, all the bushings, the fittings, the Bluetooth controller, so you can automate it from your phone and an all-in-one solution. So if any of you guys want to check it out, I'll leave a link in the description. We're the first ones that are actually putting this into an all-in-one solution. So if you want to be one of the first to grab it, then make sure you guys go check it out. And if you're ready to make the leap, quit dragging the hoses and get a fully automated irrigation system put in by a professional contractor, there's also a link that will take you to the Hunter professional contractor recommendation portion of our website. By filling out your information, a professional irrigation contractor will reach out to you shortly, come to your home and give you an estimate for a fully automated subsurface irrigation system.